Welcome to our lecture online. In order to understand reactions a little bit better as they relate to the activation energy, let's talk about what we call the Arrhenius equation. Arrhenius figured out that there was a relationship, a dependency, on the rate constant K and the reaction and the temperature of the reactants. If the temperature was high, the reaction took, took place faster. If the temperature was low, the reaction took place more slowly. And so what we did was we took the equation here where the reaction uh, constant right here, the rate constant K, is equal to the collision frequency. And I guess I should write frequency like that. Frequency times E to the minus the activation energy divided by RT. Now RT comes from the, uh, the equation uh, PV equals NRT from the gas constant. So R is the gas constant, T is the temperature in Kelvin. And so we can actually... Uh, re rework the equation in such a way that we have a linear relationship, but I actually like the form of this equation a little bit better. And let's talk about that one first. So what I did was I'd, I graphed this equation right here to the right, where on the vertical axis we have what we call the, react the rate constant. On the horizontal axis we have the temperature. And notice that the relationship runs like this. And let's take a look at that for a moment. If the temperature is very low, then we get a very small number in the denominator, which makes this a very large exponent, and e to a minus large exponent goes to zero. So you can see as the temperature goes to zero, the reaction constant, the rate constant goes to zero as well. So the reaction will virtually not take place if the temperature is low. If the temperature becomes large, when t goes to infinity, anything over infinity is zero, e to the zero is one, so you will approach a. H, a is the collision frequency. So that means that at very high temperatures, the collision frequency will be almost equal to the rate uh, constant. So that means that anytime there's a collision, they will, the collision will be so violent with so much kinetic energy that every collision will result, result in a reaction and therefore the reaction rate, the rate constant, becomes equal to the collision frequency. But at lower temperatures, that's not the case. Only a small portion of the, of the collisions will result in a reaction. Therefore, the reaction will go a lot slower. Therefore, the rate constant is slower. Also notice that if the activation energy is larger, it requires more energy to make the reaction take place. So if, if, the, uh, if the energy, the activation energy is larger, the reaction rate will definitely take, go slower at higher temperatures. And if the activation energy is, is very small, then it's easier to reach that activation energy and the reaction will take place a lot faster at lower temperature. So you can see that this equation really shows how the reaction takes place and how the reaction rate or the rate constant is proportional to the what we call Arrhenius equation. And you can see the dependency on temperature, on the activation energy, and on the collision frequency. Now if you do want to take the natural log of both sides, so now you have the natural log of the rate constant is equal to the natural log of the uh, collision frequency plus the natural log of e to the minus activation energy divided by RT. Of course, the natural log negates the exponential, so you end up with the natural log of K is equal to minus E over R times 1 over T. So sometimes we like to write it like this, and so if we now graph this as an equation of 1 over T, this becomes like Y is equal to MX plus b, it's now like a linear equation. Notice that the slope is negative, the slope is minus e over r, that's minus the activation energy uh, divided by r, and I don't know why I wrote sub r here, that should be sub a, activation energy sub r, and it's negative, so that means as the temperature goes up, this becomes a smaller and smaller factor, and you can see then that the natural log of k then approaches the natural log of a again, where it shows that the rate constant approaches the collision frequency. Again, so this is just a different way of writing it. I just like this, this format of the graph better because it really shows that, uh, the, that at low en activation energies, the reaction takes place very quickly. At high activation energies, it takes a lot longer. It takes a lot higher temperature to achieve the same reaction rate. So I think that one explains things a whole lot better. And that's the Arrhenius equation.